Welcome to the High Painting of the Sun Dance discussion. My name is Angela Morin, and I am here with Mrs. Wyatt. And let's go ahead and start off with the title. It is the Hyde Painting of the Sun Dance, right here. And the artist that it is attributed to is, I'm going to have to look at this again, Cosico. That's how you pronounce it right there. Cosico, that's how it's spelled, and that's how it's pronounced. And um, he is an Eastern Shoshone uh, Native American. So this is from the Indigenous Americas historical period. And then Mrs. White, would you like to talk about those materials and techniques? Yes, the materials are elk. Uh, this one is elk. It did say that sometimes they are deer or buffalo, but this one is elk. And that they're using uh, natural pigments, the red, the ochre, and the chalk. And then some of the uh, paints that are on here are things that he got through trade. Mm -hmm. So the blues and the purples, those are not going to come from the earth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And question number one, it does ask what surface was used. And so that's where you would put your elk hide. The intended purpose for this, so typically these would document um, Native American history. And this one was classified as a wall hanging. Um, but it's also been classified as a robe, so I guess it could have been used for either. Mm -hmm. um, now, what it's documenting specifically is the sun dance. So the sun dance is basically a ceremony for the creator deity, and it would be for giving thanks to for the earth's bounty and ensure that its bounty continued. Do you want to talk about what happened to this specific... Example. Well, it seemed that they, uh, the American government did not like it, and so they outlawed the dance. And evidently, it was something that was used a lot with tourism. Uh, and so they changed things up and switched over to a non-religious dance of the wolf. Mm -hmm. And so within this piece, you kind of have a little of the sun dance and a little of the wolf dance. And that just stops it from getting into a sticky problem with the um, the people who are watching what the Indians are doing mm -hmm. during this particular time. Yes. Um, and then that kind of talks, that brings us to the idea of what we're seeing in here. We can see some pictures of different things happening in the dance. Mm -hmm. And this is the sun dance. Yes. Because they're just about to raise the eagle up between the two poles. The, uh, the bison. Up the bison, the yes. yes. And then we can see here. So these are, uh, let's talk about the headdresses that are being worn here. These are known as feathered war bonnets. And um, what's interesting about these is that these were would only be worn by warriors who acted bravely in battle. Right. So they were symbols of power and honor. Yes. And nowadays, we see people wearing them that are not Native American. And so it brings up this question of cultural appropriation. And it is believed to be very disrespectful to Native Americans for people to wear things like this. And Mrs. White, you had a really good example of this you want to share. Right. It's like having a purple heart for being wounded in battle. And then somebody deciding to put one on a piece of clothing to match their shoes or their shirt because of the purple in it, not so much because of what it stands for. And when you do things like that, it's kind of a slap in the face for that person. Yeah. It essentially makes it into a joke. Yes. And so... Um, that's something to be aware of, is just to be careful of how you use these things and what they mean to other people. And so, yeah, the did we get everything on here? I think oh, we did. The intended audience. So wow. one other thing to note about this was that this was created for Euro-American tourists who visited the Wind Reservoir. Wind River Reservation, and that's where um, Cotsigo was located, is at that reservation here. And 
So they were basically tourists that were buying these things. Right. And he was making money from the tourists for his for himself and his tribe. Mm-hmm. So that about does it for everything. I think we covered every everything on the list. So thank you so much for watching. And I